All right, the next object is a cell phone. Oh, what? A cell phone? Don't ever throw a cell phone in water, kids. Never, ever, ever, ever. Who gave me a cell phone? Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. He's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show, and I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we are going to play a little game where we're going to be doing an experiment to see if different objects will sink or float in this tub of water. And we're going to make predictions to see if we think we know what will sink and float and see if we're right or wrong. It'll be a lot of fun. But first, let me introduce you to my co-host and my friend, Allie. Hey, Allie, hey, how are you? Great. I'm doing well. I'm excited for today because we have this tub of water. Boop. Ah. And we're going to see... Sorry. Ah. You're an alligator. You still have a little bit of water, right? It's kind of refreshing. Yeah, it is. It's hot out, huh? Kids, you can do this at home too, but with an adult. Don't just start throwing things into water. Not a good idea. Don't do it. All right. Are you ready for the first object? Are you ready? Okay. The first object is a spoon. Hmm. Allie, what do you think? Do you think this is going to sink or float? Hmm. Well, spoons are kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. It's made out of metal. This is a metal spoon. I think because it's heavy, I'm going to say sink. Okay, I think it's going to sink too. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? Let's find out. That sank. You're right, Allie. That sank. All right. So, so far, we each got one right. The spoon sank. Mm, let's see. Oh, hey guys, do you remember my toy dinosaur? We talked about it in the color episode. Do you think he's going to sink or float? Can you know Yeah. <laughs> you like scaring me with your roars, don't you? Is that because of dinosaur roars? Yeah. So good. I think he's going to float. He's not very heavy. What do you think? Hmm. Dinosaur, so I'm gonna say he's big and strong, and maybe he'll sink. Let's find out. Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? He floats. Ah! All right. Let's get this guy all dried off. Sorry, buddy. Okay, the next object is a. May I have it? That's a backhoe. Yeah, it's like an excavator and a bulldozer. That's a backhoe. Isn't that a plastic toy? It's a plastic toy. What do you think, Allie? Do you think this will sink or float? It's plastic, not metal. It's light. Maybe because it's light, mm -hmm. it'll float. I think it's going to float too. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? Okay, here we go. It floats. I wonder if I put water in the bucket though. Nope, it didn't sink. All right, that floats. Okay, the next object that we're gonna see if it sinks or floats is going to be a... Yum. Apple. All right. Yummy. Apples are yummy. Okay. But I wasn't gonna actually take a bite, maybe after. Okay, pretty heavy. This is a heavy apple. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. Well, I think it's heavy, so it obviously has to sink. I would think that too, but I've bobbed for apples before and I think they float. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float? 
Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? Let's find out. Bounced, but it bounced. It. That's floating. Look at it. It's not touching the ground. The apple floats. Ding. Okay, let's stay with a piece of fruit and go with a small orange that I have. I call a cutie. That's pretty cute. Orange, please. Sweet. All right. The apple floated. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like it looks like a ball. Yeah. And it's heavy. I really want to say sink. I'll say sink too. Let's see. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float? Sink or float? Sink or float? Will this object sink or float? Let's find out. Oh, it floated. This game's hard. It's a tough one, but you know, it's just for fun. We're making predictions. That's what happens in science. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. That's okay, you find out and then you move on to the next one. Okay, Allie, are you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Kids, are you ready? <laughs> All right, next object, please. It is a mouthpiece. That's made out of like a rubber material. You use that if you're playing some sort of a sport where you don't want to get your teeth knocked out. Uh. Oh, yeah, it protects your teeth. Okay, sink or float. Mr. Nick, do they make one for alligators? You have a lot of, let's see if that's going to fit. Let's, let's put it, close your mouth, close your mouth. What do you think? Let's see. What do you think, guys? How's that look? How's that look? Pretty good. All right. Sink or float? I say float. This feels light. It's very light. I think float. Kids, sink or float? Sink or float? Sink or float? Will this object sink or float? All right. That floats. It even kind of looks like the shape of a boat, too. Even. Okay, the next object, please. That's a race car. Hmm, this is made out of metal. I think this is going to sink. What do you think? It's very heavy. It's a little heavy. It's heavy. I think it's going to sink. Let's find out, kids. Sink or float? Sink or float? Sink or float? Will this object sink or float? Oh, that hit the bottom hard. Definitely sink. Hey, we got it right. Good job, Mr. Good job, Alex. All right, the next object, please. That is a traffic cone. Okay, let you know it feels plastic, so that's light. Hmm, I think, I wonder if it gets water in it, will it make it heavier? I think it'll float like this and sink like this. I'm making two predictions. What do you think, Allie? I think it's small and light. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say float. All right, let's find out, kids. What do you think, sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float, will this object sink or float? Ooh, it tipped upside down. There's a bubble there. Even with water in it, it still floats. I was wrong. And it actually didn't even stay upright. Hmm. All right, what's the next object? It is a marker, pretty light, made out of plastic. I think it's going to sink. I'm just going out there, I think it's gonna sink. What do you think? Well, a lot of things we've had that are plastic so far have floated. That's true. So, maybe float? Maybe I should change my guess, but I'm gonna go with sink. Kids, what do you think, sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float, 
Will this object sink or float? Let's find out. It floats. Good job, Allie. Thank you. The next object is a... That's a pine cone. That's very light. If this was a rock, I would say probably sink, but I think this is going to float. What do you think, Allie? Well, a pine cone is what, like wood? Yeah, I think it's wood. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Does it feel heavy or light? Very light, very light. I think maybe float. I think float. Kids, sink or float. Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? There we go. Oh, didn't even. Easy. Float, float, float all day long. All right, the next object is a cell phone. Oh. What? A cell phone? Don't ever throw a cell phone in water, kids. Never, ever, ever, ever. Who gave me a cell phone? Who gave the cell phone back? Please. <laughs> Don't throw a cell phone in water. Ever. Hmm. Let's go with this pumpkin instead. That seems like a safe bet. Sink or float? Hmm. Well, the apple floated. Mm hmm. But. No, pumpkins can get so big and heavy. It's kind of a small one. It's a small one. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe float like an apple. I'd say it's gonna sink. I don't know why, I think it's gonna sink. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? Here we go. It floated. You're right. Good job, Allie. Thank you. All right. All right. Two more objects. The next object, please. Ooh, scissors. Okay. Do not go and run and go get scissors without your adult supervision. Scissors. Plastic and metal. Well, that's confusing because the plastic usually floats and the metal usually sinks and it has both. What do you think, Allie? I think sink. I say sink also. Kids, what do you think? Sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? There we go. Oh, hit the bottom like a brick. Sink all day. All right, one more. And the final object is a Lego block. That's super light. It's made out of plastic, but again, what if it fills with water? Is that gonna make it heavier? What do you think, Allie? I say, I say float. Even if water gets in it, I think it's gonna float like that cone. What do you think? I think things that have been all plastic, Mm-hmm. I think they've all floated, so I'm going to make that same guess. It's going to float. Kids, sink or float? Sink or float, sink or float. Will this object sink or float? Let's see. Oh, oh, it's floating. All right. Definitely learned some things today. Plastic floats, metal sinks. Good job. All right, everybody, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys did too. And now it's time for the joke of the day. Now, if you're wondering who is handing me all these objects that we we're using today, you've probably seen them before in the joke of the day. It's Nathan. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Are you ready to tell us the joke of the day? Woo! Let's do it. Hey, Allie. Yeah? What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? Uh, I don't know. A dino snore. <laughs> that was a good one, Nathan. <laughs> Great Thanks. job, Nathan. All right, everybody. Hope you had fun. If you did, give us a like, 
subscribe so you see all of our other great episodes, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay!